Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the reinforcement and cantilever beam. So we see here, this is a cantilever beam with a column. This is a fixed support. We call it a column. And this beam is connected to this column. So we call the beam where it is only one support and it is a fixed support we call such type of beam is a fix is a cantilever beam cantilever beam for example we draw it like this graphically like this so this is always a fixed support which can take the movement and this is a beam so this beam is known as a cantilever beam because the one end of the beam is fixed and the other is free there is no support provided at the other end of the beam this end is free so we call such type of beam is the cantilever beam now we have a special uh, type of reinforcement in the uh, cantilever beam because we provide the reinforcement in the beam to take the tension load. For example, if this is my beam, this is a simply supported beam and when the load is acting on this beam, so it, it shows the stresses, the, it shows bending moment like in this way so we have maximum bending moment at the maximum tensile stresses here at this part of the beam so to take this tensile stresses because concrete is weak in tension so we provide the reinforcement bar so if we look to the cross section of this part so it will look like this so we provide the main reinforcement here at the bottom of the beam in order to take this tension now what about the cantilever beam if we draw the cantilever beam here, so there is a cantilever beam and this is and there is a load acting on the cantilever beam. So what happens, the beam deflection shape or the bending moment is different. So if I draw the deflection shape of the beam or the stresses, so it will look like this. It will bend or deflect like in this way. This will be the maximum deflection of the beam. So we see here now that this part of the beam is compressed is in compression so concrete is fine with the compression but here at this part of the beam this part of the beam will be in tension so now we know that concrete is weak in tension so we must have to provide the tension at this part of the beam so it will be the top portion of the beam so if we draw the cross section of the beam here at this point so we have to provide the reinforcement here at the top section of the beam because we have negative bending moment at the top of the beam or we can say that in sal stresses here x at the top section of the beam so that's why we have to provide the main reinforcement in the cantilever beam at the top section so the main reinforcement are always provided here like in this way in the cantilever beam and they are mostly extended into the column in order to have a fixed joint so if I draw the cross look into the cross section so it will look like this so now the main reinforcement are provided at the top of the beam because the top section of the beam is in tension while the bottom section of the beam is in compression so this is the main reason that why we provide the tension reinforcement in top region in the cantilever beam is compared to the simply supported beam and simply supported beam we provide the main reinforcement or the tension reinforcement at the bottom section of the beam as i discussed below that the main tensile stresses are acting here at the bottom section of the beam that's why we provide the main reinforcement at the bottom section while in cantilever beam the tensile stresses are acting at the top section of the beam so we have to provide here this is in the top stresses in the top section we have tension so we have to provide the tensile reinforcement in the top region of the beam. That's why we provide the main reinforcement here at the top region, not at the bottom region. At bottom region, we always provide two reinforcement in order to make a cage. So, hope you guys understand that why we provide the reinforcement in the top region in the cantilever beam. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.